resuscitation of an infant or child in a respiratory or cardiac arrest, there are many tasks that must be performed by the resuscitation team in a short amount of time. Often in a code situation, the resuscitation team dynamic can break down in the intensity of the moment. A team leader or member can easily become overwhelmed. This is when good leadership and teamwork are most important. Let's take a look at what happens when you don't have effective team dynamics. We've got a seven-year-old male with difficulty breathing. We've got oxygen, we've got an IV established. Vital signs are stable, but he's started becoming much less responsive to a full end. So I'm, I'm worried. Okay. I need some help in here. Ricky, can you wake up? Ricky? Pulse is 110, respirations are 30. Hey, Ricky, are you okay? respiratory distress. He became unresponsive when he got here. He doesn't have a pulse. We have started CPR. Okay, hold compressions. I want to see the rhythm. Uh, that looks like the F. There's no pulse. No pulse? Okay. So go ahead. Resume compressions, please. We're going to have to defibrillate. Uh, I want to get ready to give a dose of Epi. Uh, what does he weigh? Uh, I don't know. 20 kilos, maybe? Can uh, you get the tape and please verify that? Come on, let's go. So I want to defibrillate with two joules per kilo. That'll be 60 joules, please. Charging 60 joules. Oh, keep going. Oh, keep going on the compressions. C keep going on the compressions. Okay, charge complete. All right. All clear. Okay. Everybody back. On three. One, two, three. Shocking. Nothing. What's going on? Why, why are we stopping? Come on. What, are we ready to go? He didn't charge it. Charging. we got to go here. Charge Let's get back on the compression. Charge. Clear. Shocking on three. One, two, three. Everybody's clear. Shock delivered. Okay, let me see there. No, no, I mean, let's go. Let's go on chest compressions. No rhythm check. Okay, we need some epi. Where's the epi? Who's doing meds? I'll do Somebody? it. Somebody? Okay. Okay, what would you like? Okay, okay. I need, um, I need, uh, I need 0.01 milligrams per kilo um, IV epi. So that'll be, that'll be 0.3 milligrams epinephrine. Uh, 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine. 0.3 milligrams of epi followed by a 20 cc saline flush. You doing okay down there with ventilation? Yes, I'm getting good chest rise. Okay. Uh, okay, tell you what. Let's just keep doing bag mass ventilation then. We'll hold off on intubation for now. Let's do this for two minutes. Then we'll do a rhythm check. We'll think about switching at that time. If we've got persistent VF, we're going to resume chest compressions and get ready to charge to four joules per kilo. So that's going to be 120 joules per kilogram. That'll be unsynchronized shock. Uh, in the meantime, I want you to go ahead and I guess you're going to need three milligrams of IV epi. Okay? Anybody have any questions? I thought you said it was 0.3. Uh, three, three, 0.3. Yeah, 0.3. You're right. 0 0.3. 0.3 milligrams of epi and a 20 milliliter saline flush. Okay. How, how long has it been? Is, that, is anyone recording? Nicole, please. Can you record? It's probably been about two minutes. About two minutes. Okay, you need to stop compressions after this cycle, but you need to press harder. You're not compressing deep enough. Can we switch? I'm getting tired. I'm ready to go with 120 joules if VF persists. Okay, that looks like V-fib. Go ahead and shock it. Okay, 120 joules. shock is advised. All clear on three. One, two, three. Shock delivered. You're going to have to get back on compression. Switch. Go ahead and give that epi. Zero point three milligrams of epi. Did you want any other meds? You know, uh, yeah, 
I'll tell you what, we're going to need 5 milligrams per kilo of amiodarone. Uh, and we'll do that if he has VF on the next rhythm check. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, so has it been two minutes now, you say? Four, 5 milligrams of amiodarone? Wait a minute. Five, you gave it I, 5 milligrams per kilo, and I wanted you to give it after the next check. Sorry. It's been two minutes. Okay. Let's hold compressions for now. I want to see that rhythm. Uh, that looks organized to me. No pulse. Okay. So what we've got now is PEA. Let's go ahead and resume chest compressions. And Jen, I need you to draw up another dose of epi. But don't give it till I say. Okay. Drawing up another dose of epi? You know, what, just wait on that. Hold it a second. You know, I, I think we've done everything we can here. D does everyone agree? But just, go, just stop. Let's just stop. I, he, we're not going to get him back. We're done. Does this look like a code you've participated in? Your instructor will pause the video now so that you can discuss what could have been done better. Successful teams not only have medical expertise and mastery of resuscitation skills, they also demonstrate effective communication by adhering to the eight elements of effective team dynamics. Healthcare providers should use these elements to work together in the most efficient way possible. It is important that team members and leaders understand the roles of every member of the resuscitation team and the areas they cover. These areas include airway and ventilation, IV, IO access, medication preparation and administration, compressions, monitor, defibrillator setup and operation, observer, recorder, timer, team leader. In this course, you will be evaluated as a team leader. The team leader takes charge of many aspects of the resuscitation by directing it, monitoring performance of tasks performed by each team member, and modeling excellent team behavior. He or she must be proficient in all the specific skills that need to be accomplished during the resuscitation. If you're not normally a team leader, it's understood that you may not have mastered all the tasks of running an effective resuscitation. You must also combine this with the eight key elements of effective team dynamics. More information on these elements can be found in your provider manual. The eight key elements are closed loop communication, clear messages, clear roles and responsibilities, knowing your limitations, knowledge sharing, constructive intervention, re-evaluation and summarizing, mutual respect. By adhering to these principles, you'll be giving your team a better chance to succeed with every resuscitation. Now we're going to show you the same code, this time applying the principles of effective team dynamics. We got a seven-year-old male with difficulty breathing. We've got oxygen, we've got an IV established. Vital signs are stable, but he started becoming much less responsive as we're pulling in. So I'm, I'm worried. I need some help in here. Ricky? Pulse is 110, respirations are 30. Hey, Ricky, are you okay? Getting moved over. On three. One, two, three. Ricky, Ricky, are you okay? He's not responding. He's not breathing. Will you go get the doctor, please? Amy, will you go ahead and check a pulse? Mark, will you start getting him on the monitor? And Josh, would you go ahead and get ready to ventilate? I'll be in charge until the doctor gets here. I'll start recording. There's no pulse. Okay, we're going to need to start CPR. Let's get him on the backboard. Okay, what's going on? Are you mom? Yes. Okay. Katie, will you stay with her? She can stay in the room. Sure. Please step over here. stay with you. You can stay in the room, but we need to get the team room to work, okay? I'm going to tell you everything they're doing. Is there anyone we need to call? No. Uh, my, hus my husband's on his way. Hey, Jen, what's going on? Okay, this is a seven-year-old that came in by EMS. He was having difficulty breathing. When he got here, he became unresponsive. He does not have a pulse. He is not breathing, and... 
Uh, Mom is in the room. She's back there with Katie. Okay, great. Thanks. Good sign out. I'll take over. Okay, you're in charge. I'll do meds. Great. Could you pause, please, for a second? I'll check the rhythm. That looks like Dia. No pulse. No pulse. Okay, resume compressions, please. She is 30 kilos. 30 kilos. Thank you, Jen. We're going to need to prepare to defibrillate. Two joules per kilo, so that'll be 60 joules on synchronized shock. Okay, charging to 60 joules. Great. Keep doing compressions, please. Charge to 60 joules. Clear to shock on three. One, two, three. Shock delivered. Okay, resume compressions, please. Jen, we're going to need some epinephrine. How much would you like? I would like 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram, so that'll be 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine IV. And if you could double check that for me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, verifying the dose, 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine. Okay, very good. Thank you. How's the ventilation going there? I'm getting good chest rise. Okay, good. Tell you what, we'll keep on with the bag mass ventilation for now. We'll hold off on intubation. In two minutes, we'll do a rhythm check and switch compressors at that point. If there's still VF, let's go for four joules per kilo, so that'll be 120 joules asynchronized. At that point, Jen will be able to go ahead and get three milligrams of IVF. Any questions? I thought you said 0.3. Oh, good, good pick up. 0.3, so 0 0.3 milligrams of IVF at that point. milligrams of IV epinephrine prepared. We're ready to switch. Ready to charge to 120 joules. About how long has it been? We're coming up on two minutes. Great, thank you. And hold compressions, please. That's persistent VF. Resume compressions. And go ahead for 120 joules shock. Let us know when you're ready. Charge to 120 joules. Clear to shock on three. One, Two, three. Shock delivered. Great. Resume compressions. Thank you. That's a good switch. Jen, go ahead and give that uh, IV epinephrine now, please. Okay. IV epinephrine. That IV works well? Yes, it does. Administering epinephrine. Great. It's all about 20 milliliter saline flush. Saline flush is in. Thank you. Those compressions look good for rate, but remember to push hard and also allow chest recoil afterwards. Okay. Okay. That looks better. That looks really good. Jen, what we're going to need now is some amiodarone. Okay. So uh, that is going to be 5 milligrams per kilogram IV, so that'll be 150 milligrams IV okay. amio. Drawing up 150 milligrams of IV amiodarone. And we're coming up in two minutes. Okay. Let's go ahead and pause compressions. Uh, that's an organized rhythm, and he still has no pulse. So please resume compressions. This is PEA. So, Jen, I'm going to ask that you put the amiodarone aside, and we're going to need 0.3 milligrams of IV epinephrine this time. Another 0.3 milligrams of IV epinephrine? Yes, thank you. So help me review here. We've been through uh, defibrillations and uh, doses of IV epinephrine. Uh, what are we missing? H's and T's? Let's think about the H's and T's. Great, thank you. Now your instructor will pause the video so you can identify the elements of team dynamics that you just observed. 